Welcome to the Crazy Blessed Show, and it's Monday. You know what that means. We're talking about moms. We're always talking about moms on Monday because it's Master Mom Monday, and today we're going to meet Jill. So if you're a mom who is hmm, a bit of a control freak, then you definitely want to slow down, <laughs> let go of control, and just listen to this episode of Master Mom Monday right here on the Crazy Blessed Show. Jill, I am so excited about having you on the Crazy Bless podcast and talking about your life. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so excited to be here because Mom Master University has really been a life changer for me. When I think it was back in 2014 when I first joined. And it was oh after my gosh. Class. It was that long ago. What? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Oh and you would think that like after being in this many years. It'd be an old hat, like, oh, I already know everything. Thank you. But it's not like there's, there's so many things that even, even trainings that I've listened to before, because we all hit new stages in life, right? Something right. happens in life and we're kind of thrown off or stress happens. Kind of like and, having twins, right? Twins, <laughs> surprise pregnancies, or like stress at work. My husband will, he'll come home really stressed from work and I don't realize that's what's going on. It just like all of a sudden we're not connecting anymore. Right. And, and it'll get frustrating. And then I'll go back to one of the mom master university trainings. And it doesn't matter how many times I've listened to it, or if it's a brand new one, there's always like such rich content in there. That's so applicable to what I'm going through right in that moment. Wow. And it's so funny because I'll listen to one that I've listened to tons of times in the past and I'll think, okay, did you re-record this? <laughs> <laughs> it's all new content. This is, this is all new. I've heard none of this before. <laughs> That's so funny because we don't even realize what we hear things and we learn things as we are. Right. So now when, like, after all these many years since I had Mom Master University, you've done so much personal growth. When you go back, you're like, that's totally unfamiliar. Like all of a sudden, everything you did not hear the first time, now you could hear because now you're at a level where you could process it differently. That is so powerful. It really is. It really is. So back like before. Yeah. So tell us like, um, about Jill before Mom Master University. It's like me well, and you. Know Jill before MMU was pretty high strung <laughs> and um, I was really a control freak. I didn't handle it well when things didn't go my way. And I liked to be the powerhouse, the decision maker, everything like perfectly executed. Wow. And we all know if you have kids, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's like a recipe for disaster. <laughs> right. So when I became a mom, all of a sudden I was like, man, I, I was not cut out for this. Like my personality is not a mom personality. I need things to go a certain way. And so I really struggled. And especially once I had two kids, it was, it was honestly a nightmare because I was just so stressed all the time and happy because nothing was going my way. Mm. The, I used to have such a clean house. It was a disaster and that would frustrate me. And so I really, like, I went to God and I was just like, God, please, I, I can't do this. Like, I really stink at this and I need you to come in and just completely help me just take over. Yes. And so it was shortly after that, that somehow, I don't even know how I got like a free download of your ebook, crazy blessed. And I read that and then there's like freebies in there. And so I, okay, let me go grab a freebie because this mama needs help. <laughs> <laughs> and so I ended up on your email list and you were doing a free training. And so it was like, go from survive to thrive, I think is kind of what the theme was. Uh -huh. And I, I was like, yes, I'm in survival mode. I need to thrive. Please right. help me. And so I listened to it and I knew that I needed mom master university. I needed everything that was in there, but I didn't value myself enough to pull the trigger and oh my goodness. myself. And so I, I was thinking about it and thinking about it. And I thought, you know what? My mom really needs this. 
<laughs> my mom needs this. And like, I need to be her support system. Mm, so I get it. So you don't need it. You don't need it. Well, you <laughs> did, but mm, my mom needs it worse. Yes. <laughs> so I, I talked to her I like, hey, let's do this thing together. We'll do it together. Like I won't do it for myself, but if I'm doing it for you, I will do it. So let's do it. And that was the best decision of my life. Honestly, wow. it, it was, I had only been going through the trainings at mom master university for three weeks tops and my son's daycare. So he would have been two or three at the time, my oldest and my daycare came back and they said, we don't know what you're doing differently, but keep it up because he is a completely different kid. And the thing is like, I didn't even know I was doing anything different. I was just filling myself up with the trainings that are in mom master university. And it, it's just such good content that you just start transforming and you don't even realize it. Three weeks in, and, and the daycare is like noticing a change in your son. That is amazing. It really is. It, and I knew at that point, like, I can never go back. I can mm -hmm. never not be involved in this. And, it, and it's been so good. Like every year, every year since that decision has been the best year of my life. And I think, how can it get any better? And then the next year happens. And it's even better. <laughs> <laughs> that is so powerful. So you, so, okay. You got this webinar, you got this class you're watching, right? And then you're like, mm, I don't want to make the investment for me, but if I rationalize it by saying it's me and my mom. So like, that was actually a great decision. Like yeah. sometimes we do lack the confidence and the worth to think, the self-worth to think I can invest in myself. But if we're like, okay, call up a sister or call up a friend and say, hey, let's do this together. Because then what we're doing subconsciously is we're like pushing over a little bit of that responsibility on another person. Like, okay, so it wasn't all my decision. So I'm bringing you into the equation with me. So I don't feel this burden if it doesn't work out, but then it did work out and it continued to work out. So tell us a little bit about, um, about your changes inside MMU. So after three weeks, yeah, your the daycare is noticing changes. What about you? Because a lot of unexpected things happened in your life. Like you had twins, you, you moved, like all of these things happened. Like, how did MMU play a part in that? Well, I think the first thing that I want to say is that the biggest change personally that I saw throughout this was that need for control is gone. Wow. I feel, I feel so equipped and so great to just go with the flow. Whatever happens, we'll make it work. It'll be good. It'll be an adventure, whatever. It's totally fine. And that has been really the, the biggest blessing, not just for me, but for my family, for my friends, for coworkers, like everybody. It, it just impacts everyone because now all of a sudden, I'm not walking around like a big ball of stress, ready to lash out. Right. I'm like, no, like, hey, I understand where you're coming from. I understand the situations come up, whatever. It's, it's totally fine. We'll make it work. And so that has been the thing that has really carried me throughout any situation that has helped. So like when we got pregnant with twins, pre-MMU, it would have not been good. I, that, that lack of control is like times 10 when oh. you have twins. Oh yeah. And it was so funny because all, all of these people would come up and they would say, oh my gosh, you are the perfect person to have twins because you're so easygoing. And I thought you're right. And I would not be this way without MMU. Oh, so powerful. So powerful. That, that's been like the widest ranging yeah. thing that has impacted me. But I think really the deepest thing that helped me was prior to coming into mom master university, um, my brother had died in a very tragic way and very unexpected. And I remember thinking like, I've done so much work on trying to improve my emotional health and my mental health on 
you know, coming from that loss into getting back to being able to live again. And I thought it's almost like, it's like I'm, I'm here and there's a wall here. And if I can get past this one last barrier, I'm on the other side and I'm back to where like I can breathe again and I can enjoy life again. And it, it's not the same as it was before, but it's different and it's still good. And I couldn't figure out how to get over that last hurdle. And then I, I really believe Mom Master University is so tied to the practical things that moms need, the practical of how to get through many different situations and scenarios and things that we bump up against as moms that other people don't necessarily run into. But the hidden component uh, that I didn't even know about when I joined MMU was the, the God aspect of it. And so through all of these practical teachings, we're learning about the scriptures as well. Mm -hmm. And I developed a whole new relationship with God that I, I didn't realize had been severed. Um, and I had absolutely no idea how to gain that back, but little by little, just continuing to listen to these trainings, it like rebuilt that bond. And it was so much stronger and so much deeper than before. And, and I just, all of a sudden one day I was like, oh my gosh, I, I'm back to me. I feel like me again. And I, I don't even know how or when this happened, but it's clearly I, in hindsight now, I know it's because of all of that training and God infusion inside everything that it's so neat because I can listen to a coaching and, and I can hear the inner weavings of the scriptures. And then I can go to church and they might have the same exact scripture being talked about that weekend. And I think, what a blessing that I have what I'm learning about in church. And I have an understanding of what I'm learning about in mom master university. And they, they weave together perfectly. It's so beautiful. Oh, that's so powerful. And I've actually heard that from a lot of moms. It's like, once you get inside Mom Master University, you're just like going through the strategies. You know, you're tuning into your master track, you're going through the classes, and you don't even realize what's happening on a subconscious level. And then and it starts like rewiring your mind and working with the mom brain. And then all of a sudden your, your home is changing and you get a message from the daycare. It's like, wow, your son's different. Or, you know, I heard from another mom. She said that her husband was like, who, who are you? You are like such an, like, I need to relearn you because you're so different in an amazing, beautiful way. Like, please like keep this woman up, but I want to relearn her. And so all of these amazing strategies, you don't realize how it's working on you until you start seeing your environment completely transform. Right. And like For that sure. day that you're like, wait, this last barrier about, you know, my brother's death, I always felt like I was going to always bump up against this. All of a sudden you felt the freedom and you don't have to know when and how and where it's like, wait, it worked itself out. And now I'm experiencing that freedom. It's so good. And once you have that connection to God, like the blessings are just so abundant. It just continually overflows. And I'm so astounded about it. And I, I remember you and I worked together. One of the really cool things that I love that you're doing with Mom Master University is you're introducing Covenant Coach Academy coaches working with students that are at the elite level. Yeah. And I think that's so powerful because there, there was a point that we had talked. I did coaching with you through Covenant Coach Academy and I was like, man, I know I can feel all these blessings and it feels like they're stockpiled up and I am pushing back, preventing it from coming through. And I couldn't have worked through that myself Yeah. without having coaching mm -hmm. with a covenant coach. I couldn't have worked through it. And now, I mean, as soon as I broke through that, it really has the, the blessings have been abundant and unexplainable things so that it just. It blows my mind and it's such a joy to experience and to watch my kids experience and my husband experience it. And, and I think one of the big things too is that 
as moms, we really set the tone of our home. And I didn't realize that before. <clears throat> and, but it's so true because I can watch how my kids or my husband is, are interacting and they can be happy and really in a good mood, positive, things are just flowing good. And then all of a sudden I'll start hearing complaining or I'll start hearing nitpicking or certain phrases. And I'll think, gosh, what the heck is going on here? Yeah. yeah. And I realize, oh my gosh, it's me. I've been the one that has started complaining. I've been the one that is nitpicking little things. Okay, when's the last time I've listened to an MMU training? Let me get back into that right away. Okay. Because as soon as my attitude switches, everybody around me switches too. It's oh, so, that's so true. That's so true. I remember one time when I was talking with one of the moms and she, she had stopped her membership and she came back like about four months later and she said her husband wanted her to stop because they were trying to cut back. And then it got to be where she was like spending money on just like buffering things. Like, I'm just going to Target. I'm just like, she's, he's like, please. Okay, like get back inside. So you're not like trying to buffer this pain, like get back inside. And so when you, when she got back in, then everything stabilized And he's like, I will never, ever ask you <laughs> to stay out of it because I got you back now. And so that's so important that we realize what we're doing. We think we're like changing our life as a mom and we are, but what we're doing for our marriage and for our kids and for generations that follow us is I think beyond what we can even comprehend. Oh, totally, totally. And I remember uh, every year I would go back and I'd ask my husband, Hey, are you okay? You know, I'm still in paying for mom master university. Are you okay if I continue this? And he's like, Jill, this has changed the entire dynamic of our family. You keep doing that forever. And it, and I will, it's, it's so good. One, one of the trainings I was listening to recently, I think it's called fight or flight. And it talks about kind of how we respond when things pop up and I listened to it and I like took notes. I'm like, oh, this is so good. It's so good. And then God was telling me, you need to listen to it again. And I'm not kidding you. I think I listened to it eight different times. And then all of a sudden, this one sentence, one sentence pops out that I'm going, that was not there the last eight times that I listened and took notes, that one sentence. And it was that my, your goal should be peace. Peace should be your goal. And I thought, Oh my gosh, my mind is so blown right now because I'm such a, I'm such a fighter of mm -hmm. yeah. I'll fight for what I believe in. I'll fight for what I think's right for me or my family. It's like, I have no problem going up against op opposition to really fight for my beliefs. And when I heard that, I thought, oh my gosh, I've been doing this all wrong. <laughs> Because you can still fight for it, but with peace in mind. Right. And I, I reflected back on a situation. I had been going through a, a real estate transaction and it was literally the worst sale of my life. I mean, we've, we've bought a lot of investment properties and sold and it was the worst. And I, I reflected back and I thought, okay, I really created a lot of of conflict here and the way that I was responding because my goal was to fight for what I thought was right. Mm -hmm. And had my goal been peace, I would have totally handled it differently. So with the wow. same end goal in mind, yeah. the, the approach is one of, Hey, let's, let's work this out in the most peaceful way possible. And it's, it's just so good. So good. It's so good. Um, and, and it's one of those things that it's almost like you don't know how good till you're in it and you're experiencing it. You're like, wait a minute, this was available. Like I could have done this. So what would you say to that mom who is like you were, it's like, well, I don't really know if I can do this for myself. Like, I don't know if I can trust myself to make this decision. What would you say to that mom who's considering mom master university? I would say that just say yes. I mean, it's as simple as that. It's scary to do new things. It's scary to invest in yourself, 
but understand it's not, it's not you looking at your own worth. It's not looking at you and saying, can I really do this? Can I make a change? What you're doing is you're investing in your future. You're saying, all right, I want this future bad enough. I will, I'll do whatever it takes. And that means saying yes. And as soon as you do that, like take it as if, as if it's back when you're in school and you're really trying to learn, you're really dedicated. You show up to class because they take attendance back when we're in school, right? Right, right. Well, hold yourself to that same accountability. When you say yes to MMU and you get in, you now, it's your own accountability system. And every time you show up, God's going to bless you. And it doesn't matter if you don't think you see results yet. You just keep investing your time, your energy, because you know, without a doubt, if you continue moving forward, you continue saying, yes, yes, I'm going to listen to another training. Yes, I'm going to log in today. Then you will inevitably see change and you will inevitably be living your best life. Oh, so powerful. All right. She's, I mean, Jill is a living example of what it looks like to go from being a stressed out control freak to now being just characterized by peace and joy. And here's the deal. She's right when she says it will inevitably happen and it will happen in everyone's life because God is no respecter of persons. I tell you, you get plugged in and just like Jill, you're going to be blessed like crazy.